afternoon, I'm Jack Williams. 99 degrees, partly cloudy skies right now. Houston is above average, not below, even after the city issued water use restrictions. Mayor Anise Parker says the city could find people who violate the ordinance, but that's not the goal at this point. What I need is compliance. I don't really want to write a lot of tickets. And what we've had so far is that once people are informed, they do come into compliance. It's just getting that information out. Parker says it's important to conserve water now because the drought is forecast to continue. That could mean the imposition of more stringent conservation measures. Houston school district officials say problems have been fixed at most of the 10 campuses that had students using portable toilets and drinking bottled water because of water main breaks caused by the intense summer heat. Here's more from Laurie Johnson. Three schools still have water pressure problems, but classes are continuing as usual today. HISD officials say they are closely monitoring the air conditioning systems, which are cooled by water in all the affected campuses, and if the situation they will relocate students to nearby schools to ensure their safety and comfort. City officials say the summer heat has contributed to creating water main breaks. City crews are dealing with more than 800 repair problems around Houston. The city is getting some extra help to fix those breaks, but so far hasn't been able to catch up yet. Laurie Johnson, KUHF News. The Texas Supreme Court has upheld a $5 entry fee for customers to strip clubs that serve alcohol. is too small to create a burden on the expression of new dancing. State lawmakers created the so-called poll tax in 2007 to raise...